Actually, before I move on to the, the next one, is there anything that you are struggling with that I can help with? Um, I think for the next one, it's going to be... Everything looks very airbrushed right now. And, like, the other ones have a very sketchy feel to them. And I really liked how that came through. But this one, I don't know what it is with this one. I just kind of struggled to get it to read the same way that it did with the other ones. This one? Um, I used all the same. Yeah. Everything feels a little bit too brushed over with, like, an airbrush. Okay. Let me go ahead and flip and I was, this, actually. Yeah, and I think I really struggled with the, like, in the shade of the hat, the getting the forms to read, yeah. like the eye and the spherical shape of the eye. Right, I can see that. So when in doubt for stuff like that, see what you can do by simplifying completely. Again, I think the drawing is fine, but if I had to say what's the most extreme low poly version of this scenario with local values included you'd have like a, a floating sphere a cylinder and maybe another cylinder for the shoulders fair enough and then a flattened cylinder like a disc with a cylinder on top for the for the hat right and the question is can we get this to look like it's realistic in a you know 3d space and so we can kind of just lay in yeah, the background here is pretty gray, so I might as well put gray there. And it's like the local value here, let's try to figure out what that is. It's going to be a different local value than the hair. So for the skin, we can make a new layer, try to make do some guesswork and say, well, it's obviously pretty bright. Let's put that, and that, and that for the skin. And then the local value for the hat is probably something like this. Right? And the question is, can we get this to look realistic with these value groups? And then we'll put the hair later. And so we could select the value of the skin, go halfway to black, cast that shadow on there. Actually, first we need to get that core shadow. And keep asking, is it resulting in the illusion of form? That's what you're looking for. Casting the shadow here. And there, that's a cylinder, so it's going to do that. And then this, the, the hat is casting a shadow too, so it's going to be a sharp line there. We're going to fill that in like this. Okay, the question is, well, now it's blending in with the hat. Well, no, because we still have to put the shadow of the hat. So take that local value, go halfway to black. Let's fill that in. Under the cylinder, uh, and then if you want, you could you know take this a little further by putting the, the hair or something. But the, the 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 point is get the illusion to read with the with the proper values by doing that. And it's like the test is turn the line work off. Does it look realistic or 3D? Yeah, it does. If so, then you can move on. You could even put that highlight there. Maybe some ambient occlusion, some bounce light coming up. And so when you go to render this uh, on, with the actual forms, this is the information you're working with. So just group that, turn it off. Now we can immediately see the problem. It's the, the yeah. value setup. And like this is, if we select this value, the, the local color, the shadow of it, it's going really dark. Where it should be like somewhere like this. Like no darker than that. And so getting these values in properly first. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, you know, you could do the flourishes of like non airbrushy or whatever things you want to do. Right. Just by doing that automatically it sets it up for, for a better, I guess, rendition. Get some bounce light in there. Let's go ahead and put that in there. And, and yeah, so like now, now we can, if you want, get fancy with these, I guess, brush strokes and fade upward and, and isolate that highlight on the nose by doing that, right? But again, if the values are wrong, it's gonna look weird. Maybe down here. And then, you know, that chin is essentially a sphere, so it's going to have a core shadow 
or like a transition shadow like this. And, and notice how like setting those up properly, now it looks 3D. It looks like it has that illusion that we're looking for. And even having said that, I think the I think the values you had for the hair actually were pretty good, like being really dark there. That makes sense. Might even kick in a ambient inclusion shadow. Like that. Then you build up from there. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, okay. And then could you like address the eyes in the shadow just to give it like because I felt like the eyes were really, really flat even when they were in the shadows. Yeah. Try to put some highlights in, but yeah, didn't read it as well as I was hoping. Yeah, let me just flatten this. So when I squint and look at the reference, you, you barely see any of the, the whites of the eyes. It's, it's there, but it's like a very tiny speck, right? Whereas mm -hmm. here, it's, I think, a little bit like, you know how you paint, you, if you've ever seen a Barbie doll, the eyes are painted on. That's what this looks like. So yeah. if you go back to, you know, the, the basics, you know, if you had to take a sphere right there and give it the whites of the eyes value, right? And it's in shadow, like a shadow is being cast onto it. So it's going to be like this. And then if you had to render some ambient occlusion on it, you might end up with something like this, a floating sphere that looks like that, right? That mm -hmm. is the form that the, sh that the eye would have. And then you would draw, or actually just from this, you can paint on the eyelid or erase away from the sphere as if the <coughs> eyelid is covering it. Like, huh? no, you know, get that information correct first and then draw the eyelid, uh, sorry, the pupil, the iris. And the eyelashes. Yeah. To answer your question, it's like the, get the form of the eyeball to read properly first. And it's like we did all that work just to get this small little gray triangle. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but do it the way I did it first by like going through the steps so you understand why it's just a tiny small little triangle. And then you get the little reflection in there. And now it feels like 3D. Yeah. Right. Now they don't look like painted Barbie doll eyes. Yay. And then uh, let's uh, bring that back. Yeah. And you know, just taking some steps put, to put some more ambient occlusion in areas. Like that. So. All right. Cool. Anything else that I can help with? No, I think I'm good. All right, dude. Yeah, good stuff. Good progress.